Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a utility method inside the collection class, and that is is empty and is not empty. Two very useful methods that do the opposite from each other. So let's start with is empty. So let's imagine that you just need to find out if a collection is empty. So let's return collect. We'll put in an array, but we'll leave it blank. And then we'll say, is that collection empty? OK, let's check out the results. And of course, true, that collection is empty. OK, what if we put some digits in it? One, two, three, and four. Is that collection empty? False. No, that collection is not empty. What if we passed in an empty string? Is that collection empty? No, nope, because that has an empty string. So it has one value in it. OK, what about null? What if we passed in null? Is that collection empty? No. And the same would be true if we passed in zero or false. Both of those would not work. If the collection has literally anything, any item, doesn't matter if it's a false value or not, the collection is not empty. In the same token, is not empty does the exact opposite. So let's just say we'll leave that blank and we'll call is not empty. And let's check out the results. So we get false. Obviously, we get the opposite. Now we had some items in here. We'll say one, two, three, and four. Of course, it's true. And the same would be true if we had some empty strings or false or null or zero. The collection is not empty. So how can you use this? So typically, you use it like this. You'll have a data variable. And we'll just have an empty collection. So you say, if that collection is empty, we'll just say return no items. And let's check out the results. So of course, there are no items. And you would do some additional logic in here. Now, if you need to check if it's not empty, then you can say, if data is not empty, we have, we have items. And in this case, we don't have any items because of course our collection is empty. So we'll say one, two, three, four. And so now we have items. So this is a very clean way of checking if a collection is empty or not. Finally, one last thing I do want to tell you about this is even though you called it is not empty, data is still a valid collection. It has not done anything to it. As a matter of fact, we've returned data after we've called is not empty and you get back your original data. So here you can continue to chain other things to it. Let's call the first item. And there we are first. So keep that in mind whenever you're going to use is empty and is not empty in your projects.